When we first featured Lamplighter Energy last year, we asked why more efforts weren't being made to convert wastewater into hydrogen fuel. Since then, Lamplighter has been contacted for new projects in Thailand and Hawaii. Now they're looking to expand their workforce in 2016, and starting pay is $60,000 to $70,000 a year. Interested in applying? Keep watching. Lamplighter Energy is a developer, owner, and operator of renewable energy assets. So we focus on solar, wind, hydroelectric, and what we do is we build energy assets to sell renewable power. We also deal in producing fresh water and hydrogen fuel. When I was first elected uh, eight years ago, uh, that was when gas prices were starting to approach $4 and everybody's just kind of going ballistic at the cost of uh, petroleum, you know, for gasoline. And in my district, there's a lot of driving, so you know, the cost of driving was really expensive. As I've grown to know more about the renewable energy market and um, in general, you know, I found that plug-in electrics don't quite have the range that we need on the Big Island to satisfy those kinds of needs. And because of that, you know, I started looking around and the hydrogen fuel cell uh, lends itself to the, to the need where you know, the characteristics of the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle are much like a gasoline car where the range is about 300 miles. Uh, the fill-in time is you know, about the same as when you visit the gas station. And um, you know, the cost is kind of comparable. Welcome to the Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam Hydrogen Station. This station was set up uh, originally in 2006. Um, and started producing hydrogen for the Air Force to be in a deployable mode. So everything was palletized, you could throw it on an airplane and leave it. The station that we have now is actually more like a traditional station, but it's more than a station. This place can actually, it's more like having your oil refinery, your oil field, and all your shipping all in one place. What we're demonstrating for the Air Force, I like to also take over to the state of Hawaii and say, look, we're learning all this great stuff from the Air Force, what could it mean for Hawaii? When you're buying fossil fuel for all of our energy, for the, for the electric company to burn, put in their turbines, and you're buying it for fuel for your vehicles, that's money going out of the state that doesn't come back. That's money that's leaving. That's jobs that are leaving. So what we're trying to do is support industry that is high tech in Hawaii, is clean energy in Hawaii that can create new jobs and clean energy jobs and not to take away any jobs from HECO or anybody else. Our big push in 2016 is an investment in our staff and that's really what has built Lamplighter up over the years and so we intend to build that here in Hawaii and it's really great. We're going to be hiring both operations person, business administration individuals, as well as the developers moving in the field. And these are not just new jobs being added to the market, but they're new jobs at realistic salaries. To give you an example, operation maintenance on an existing plant, which doesn't require a special degree, starting salaries between 60 and 70,000 a year, depending on the person's experience. We have a full benefits package, employee stock ownership program, as well as a bonus program and a lot of our staff is able to easily earn six figures by performing at their targets. We're looking for people that are mechanically inclined, that are quick to learn. Uh, the training, I mean, at Lamplighter, we invest heavily in our staff and our team members. So the training is fairly extensive. Someone that doesn't know how to operate a hydrogen asset will be shipped to our manufacturers. That could be on the east coast of the US or even overseas, where they'll be able to work with that team on building the system that they'll be then running for the next 30 years. Some of our best candidates are people that work on solar installations, where they're looking for a little bit more of a set schedule, a better job, a longer term position, but they understand the intricacies of solar. But we also have people that are mechanics applying, where they know how to run a system, they have the fundamentals of electricity, and we can train them on operations and safety. So we also have a really exciting role for developers, and that works in two levels. Because Lamplighter is growing internationally, we're hiring developers that we're training here in Hawaii to then move to new markets for us and run those markets. So it's a great opportunity to not just stay with the company, but to be able to grow in the position. For those that want to stay local, we're all hiring a lot of roles for the developers locally. And these are people that have environmental experience, construction experience, a little bit of sales, a contracting experience, or finance. We don't look for someone that has that full coverage. We want someone that understands the basics of the business, and then our 12-week training program 
can get them understanding how development works at Lamplighter. But key to that is after the 12 weeks, they're not on their own. Every employee in Lamplighter, including myself, is assigned a mentor to guide and develop them in their career so that they're always being trained and developed on an ongoing basis. And if someone's truly interested, the easiest way is to go to our website, lamplighter-energy.com, take a look at the careers page, and apply directly. HR representative will reach out to them if they're qualified and schedule them for an interview.